Last night, Trump held a rally in my home state of South Carolina. He was completely off prompter. I'm sorry, uh, I meant to say off his meds. <laughs> Trump started out by slamming the state's former governor, Mark Sanford, who famously disappeared in 2009 to visit his mistress in Argentina, but claimed he was hiking the Appalachian Trail. Never liked him too much. I wasn't a big fan. The Tallahassee Trail must be a beautiful place. Unfortunately, he didn't go there. You're right, he didn't go there. Because <laughs> the Tallahassee Trail does not exist. Uh, the Tallahassee Trail, right through the heart of Tallahatchie. <laughs> From the lungs of the Great Smoker Mountains all the way to the crotch of Viagra Falls. <laughs> so beautiful. So beautiful. A lot of newlyweds go up there. Hold head. Look here. Trump played all the hits, but he had a major change to his free bird. Well, it's happening. It's not build that wall anymore. It's continue building that wall, because we're building it. That chant doesn't really have the same ring to it. <laughs> continue building. All falsetto. Everyone in the crowd is falsetto. Naturally, yeah. Trump used his rally to focus on the issue everyone's most enraged about, talk shows. He went after Jimmy Fallon. Uh, he went after Jimmy Kimmel. Then he went after someone else on TV you know and love. If somebody would open a talk show at night, because the, the guy on CBS is... is what a low life. What a low life. I mean, this guy on CBS has no talent. Hey, Mr. President, I will not stand here and let you talk that way about James Corden. <laughs> He's very talented. He sings, he dances. Have you seen his carpool karaoke with Paul McCartney? Thank you. I'm just telling you, I will not. James Corden is a fine man. He is my friend. Do you see his carpool karaoke with Paul McCartney? I laughed. I cried. They sang Penny Lane on Penny Lane. You're an animal. <laughs> oh, I'm being told he was talking about me. <laughs> oh, to which I say, no talent. Have you seen this? All these women are pregnant now. <laughs> That's how virile that is. But I'll say this. I think he called me the guy on CBS because he's afraid to say my name. Yeah, this rally was in South Carolina, and I am a favorite son of the Palmetto State. State flower, yellow jasmine, state dog, boykin, spaniel. Those people know I love them. That's why he didn't say my name. You say my name three times there, and I appear. <laughs> yeah. It's actually, it's actually very hard on my personal life. <laughs> I am South Carolina to the core. I am a creature made of boiled peanuts and shrimp. You can cut me open and count the rings of barbecue. <laughs> I am South Carolina's second favorite celebrity right after the Confederate flag. <laughs> but there is one talk show Trump likes. They're not like talented people. Johnny Carson was talented. He is right. Carson was a legend. And here's just a taste of some of his great material. Don't worry about Jennifer Flowers. She got a new job. She got fired, you know. She was a receptionist at an unemployment agency. She got canned, but she got a new job today as a Donald Trump backup mistress. <laughs> he really was ahead of his time. That guy's funny. We got a great show for you tonight. Hugh Grant is here. But when we return, I talk with First Lady Melania Trump. Join us, won't you?